Grant, um, how harsh is that scoreline on your team today? Yeah, I think if if, if any neutrals watching and looking in and sees that score, um, they'll think it's a, a thrashing. Um, for us, you know, we, we it was a loss of concentration on two set players that's cost us today. Um, we know this division is, is, is renowned to be good in, on set plays and every team has different threats. So we knew about the threats of QPR today. It was just a loss of concentration. The first one shouldn't happen. You know, we shouldn't be allowing shots from 20, 25 yards, free shots at our goal. Um, but look, if I look at the general play of the game, I thought QPR started bright. We had a couple of half chances ourselves with George Moncur and etc. but didn't quite go in. I thought from 30 minutes onwards, we looked really good. I thought we were in the ascendancy, we're coming, we're pushing for that equaliser. We started the second half tremendously. Um, Keane, we thought Keane had scored. Um, Matty Smith, we thought he had scored. I think if they go in, it's a, it's a different game. Um, and, I, and I'd fancy this group and our group to, to, to push and try and get the three points. But it wasn't to be, it was one of those days where it seemed to ricochet off their players or their players are throwing legs in it and saving it and credit to them. You know, that's, they defended it well. Um, second one again, the, the, it's a corner, we just get blocked. That shouldn't happen, you know, we're, we're man marked in the box, we, we shouldn't let anyone block us, we shouldn't lose our man. And then obviously the sending off is a, is a, is a bitter pill to swallow, given it's George Moncur and he's not that type of player. Um, probably the game was dead by then. Did you feel the red card was a rush of blood or do you feel it was just a, a, a mistimed challenge that he was just naturally going in for? Just a mistimed challenge. George is not. George hasn't got a rush of blood in him. You know, he's, he's just a very good football player, as I think the fans, you know, everyone's seen again today. Um, so I'm hoping we'll get a different angle of it. Um, from the angle that we've seen with, from this side of the stand, it doesn't look great. You know, it studs are up a little bit. But hopefully we can see a different angle and, you know, it might work in our favour and we can maybe speak to the to the powers to be about it because um, we don't want to be losing George for three games but you know sometimes you have to hold your hands up and say look he's missed time did he's put his studs up it's a bad tackle um, but we'll, we'll review it and see You played him at right wing as well in uh, the second half when Longman made way what's the situation with him because Williams then came on he probably looks like the most likely to start maybe on Wednesday given the situation with Wilkes too um, well, Ryan, Ryan felt his groin, Ryan Longman, so we had no choice to take him off, but I th I, nothing against Ryan, he was just struggling with his groin, but when, when he came off, I thought we got in the ascendancy, I thought mm -hmm. the position that George plays, the, the energy that Matt, Sh Matt Smith showed today, um, I thought we looked really good and we started the overload that side of the pitch, um, and again we took it into the second half, um, so yeah, look, we've got good options, haven't we? So it's, it was pleasing to see some of the new players play today. It was pleasing to see Callum Elder looking through the 90 minutes. And we'll dust ourselves down and we'll go again. Any other positives from today? Um, yeah, the fans. I thought the fans were excellent. I thought, you know, the, the atmosphere inside the stadium uh, was outstanding. You know, they stayed with us um, right to the end. I think they could see the players were giving everything and we were, you know, we're, we're coming away, scratching our heads, thinking we've lost a game 3-0. It doesn't feel like a 3-0. Um, it was a lot closer than that, given the fact that we we just a loss of loss of concentration and a couple of set players. But we'll learn, we'll improve, we'll try and get better, uh, and hopefully we can um, take that into Wednesday. Alfie, thank you for your time. Give us your assessment of today. Yeah, frustrating, obviously. Um, didn't get going at the start. The first twenty minutes, I didn't think we get got going enough. Um, but then we grew into the game and and we sort of took control of the game. Um, obviously, frustrating to to concede two set plays. Um, Got to hold my hands up for one. One of them was my man, so that that was frustrating for me. Um, and then going out to ten men is, is always tough, and and they get the, the sort of consolation goal. But we had some good spells in the game, played some good football, and we created a few chances, which is which is positive. So um, yeah, we have to take that um, and go again on Wednesday. Yeah, the, the second goal was quite a hard one to take as well because that came after an amazing spell of pressure where I think everyone was left scratching their heads wondering how we hadn't scored one, maybe even two. Yeah, and I think that's that's sort of the, game, uh, the goal that kills the game. Um, frustratingly, uh, but um, like you said, we had good spells and unlucky on a different day. Our chances go in. But yeah, we have to regroup and, and go again Wednesday. Yeah, because that's a result which the gaffer said would, for the neutral, everyone would look and maybe say that it was a thrashing, but... You, you obviously been on the pitch, it wouldn't have been a thrashing. It didn't feel like a thrashing watching it today. No, not at all. It didn't feel like a uh, thrashing. We had good spells in the game. We had we had a fair few chances as well. And like I said before, on a different day, they go in. It was just fr frustrating to concede uh, 
two set plays and obviously the, the consolation goal when they, we would go down to 10 men. But um, yeah, like I said, we have to review it on Monday and then go again on the training round and, and get ready for Wednesday. And when you do review situations like this, from a defensive point of view, is it easier to review a set play which went wrong or maybe something from open play? Yeah, I think for the for the set plays, I think, especially a second one, it's individual, it's me. So I hold my hands up for that. Um, no excuses there, just got to stay tight with him. Um, and that's it, yeah, just look at it again, see if I can do anything to, to stop him getting, getting around the back. Um, but yeah, just, just we'll have to review the first one as well and, and the second, uh, third, sorry. But even though we've conceded on evidence of last Saturday, the goals are going in at the right end too, so it makes for a really interesting game on Wednesday against Derby. Yeah, definitely. I think we're creating chances, which is always a positive. And, and like again today, on a different day, them chances go in. The keeper's pulled pulled off some worldies and, and there's been a few blocks on the line. Um, so on a different day, they go in. But it's, it's a positive that we are creating them chances and, and we're playing good football to, to create them.